You know, the question I think anybody will have is, will WWE strip Daniel Bryan of the WWE world title after tomorrow? Because tomorrow, apparently, he goes in for neck surgery. And then, just, you know, depending on the results, we'll find out whether or not he'll be stripped or be able to keep it. Now, sources and rumors going around is that right now it doesn't seem like the neck injury is that bad. And that all it is is basically cleaning up whatever or removing, removing and cleaning up whatever in there and fixing, and fixing it. And that it doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad, and that the process of healing and recovery shouldn't take that long. Now again, though, this all depends on whether or not, you know, you know whether or not, now of course, this all does depend on whether or not the injury is as bad as it is, not as serious as it is, or it is serious. Now, we kind of do understand and realize that this may limit Daniel Bryan's repertoire, maybe, in the ring. And we know he likes to do suicide dives, and not doubting he's not going to still do those. I'm out of the ring, but those may be limited. But, yeah, we know he's got a certain style. But, anyway... The question is, will they strip him? Honestly, I don't think they will. Because right now, Daniel Bryan, injured or not, is the hottest thing they got going in that company. And I seriously do not think they want another hijacking of Raw, hijacking of Payback, hijacking of Smack, basically a hijacking of any of the shows. Now, I know you're thinking, well, if they were to strip him and give it to somebody else, it'd make the Yes Movement make his momentum even bigger, and I agree with that. But right now, it's a little too soon. I think if you're going, I think if they're going to do anything, they're going to find a way to keep the belt around him. Now, I've already thought of a few scenarios, and one of them could be maybe there'll be a lawsuit involved. Like maybe... You know, let's say, I'm not saying it would happen, but let's say they might write in Brie Bella threatening to sue the WWE, threatening to sue the authority, if they even think of stripping Daniel of the belt. Or maybe it's both Daniel and Brie that threatens to sue the company for, you know, stripping him of the belt because of something that wasn't his fault. You know, initially on, and it's initially on them, they could go in that route. Or they could say, well, Daniel's injury isn't as bad as it is. And that as much as we hate to say it, he, can, he will remain WWE champion. He just will not compete at payback. They could say something like that. They could have Vince McMahon show up. and Or they could have Vince McMahon show up. As, you know, as soon as Stephanie and Triple H are about to proudly say, finally, we're going to get the belt off him. You have Vince McMahon show up and say, no, that's not going to happen because... The truth is, the injury wasn't that bad. The surgery was a success. He should be back within a couple of weeks. And uh, nice try of trying to get the belt away from him. So, you know, you can have stuff like that. You know, and you know, there are some people that are speculating that if they did go the route of stripping him, that they could do, the way I look at it, they could end up doing a CM Punk situation for SummerSlam where he comes back, challenges whoever the champion is, says, hey, look... I'm the true champion. I never really lost this belt. You only stripped me of it of a little small injury. And, you know, you could have a unification match to see who the real champion is. Sure, it costs WWE a lot of money to create two identical belts, but what are you going to do? Well, not a lot of money in their case, but what are you going to do? But to me, I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think... I mean, because one, that, the speculation right now is they're not gonna, the injury is not as bad as it seems. It might just be more of like a little stinger that needs to be looked at and probably have stuff cleaned out of it and kind of fixed up maybe. And again, you know, if it is bad, you know, I wish Daniel all the best in his recovery. This, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it isn't bad, and I'm not saying it is. But right now, the way people are speculating right now 
is you're looking at a situation to where you don't want to kill them. You don't want to have another hype. If you're WWE, you don't want another hijacking of your product by the fans. But then again, you don't want to have a champion that's not able to defend his title every night like he says he can. Now, like I said, a lot of people might say it could work well in the storylines to go for a unification, and it could. And it can make Daniel even bigger monster of a, even bigger, a bigger monster of a star, monster of a, you know, wrestler, if you will, than he ever has been. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. But I honestly do not think they're going to strip him of the belt. I think they're going to keep it on him. They're going to figure out that perhaps his injury is not going to be too bad and that at least if he can come out and defend the belt maybe once a night, every 30 days, he could keep hold on to it to at least he's fully recovered. That, that's, why, I mean, that's how it would work. That, to me, that's how it would work even better. Just have him come out, defend the belt once every 30 days, win somehow, and then leave the arena go home, rest, recover, do what he has to do, and then come back and do it again for 30 days. It works. It works, folks. And besides, when you take a look at Raw this past Monday, I don't think the injury is that bad. I mean, yeah, it's going to need a little bit of surgery, but if he's willing to help Kane drag his body out at, during Raw, I don't really think it's that bad, folks. So um, that's just my take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they'll strip Daniel Bryan of the belt? Or the title? Or do you think they'll keep it on him? Let me know down below. And I'll talk to you all later. Comments are welcome. God bless.